Ayan talaga sa dali ng isang membro ng committee ha, for the quorum. Saka tayo mag-start. Pabilis lang naman, no? Good morning, uh, everyone. The Senate Committee on Public Order and uh, Dangerous Drugs uh, will please uh, come to order. Uh, Secretariat, please uh, acknowledge the resource persons. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> We would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Police Lieutenant General Archie Gamboa, Officer in Charge, Philippine National Police. Morning, sir. Uh, Brigadier General Restito Gatera. Morning, sir. Brigadier General Samuel Rodriguez. Morning, sir. Uh, sir. <laughs> Wala po kasi name yung rito, sir. Please state your name, the Lancer will be making a. Good morning, sir. I'm Brigadier General Matt Tio Bakay, sir. I'm the Director of Legal Service, PMP, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, with the end Excuse me, Sinubong Konatin, Tagalagay ng Marker. Ginagawa pa, sir. Ah, ginagawa? Yes, sir. Hindi mo kilala yung pinakamagaling na abogado <laughs> ng uh, PNP, ya? Yeah? Sorry, sir. Sige, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, we would like also to acknowledge uh, the representative from NBI, Attorney Ross Jonathan Galicia. Morning, sir. Uh, from the PDEA, we would like to acknowledge the presence of Attorney Michael Manjares, sir. Uh, IAV Glenn Lagutan. Sir, for the record, what does IAV mean, sir? Okay, thank you very much, sir. And from the Metro Manila Development Authority, uh, is represented by Mr. Frank Carl Astrilla from the Legal Division. Uh, from the Bureau of Customs, Mr. Eddie Raval, Deputy Commissioner, sir. Thank you for coming, sir. From the National Privacy Commission, represented by Ms. Uh, I.B. Grace Villa Soto, OIC Director for. Thank you, sir. Uh, that's all for the moment, sir. Thank you, Komsek. Uh, let me deliver my opening statement. The issue of requiring law enforcement officers to wear body cameras has become a global issue for the past few years, particularly in, the la in light of problems in the United States that apparently point to the police using excessive and unnecessary force in dealing with the public. Nevertheless, many countries like Australia, Canada, Singapore, UK, USA, Denmark, Finland, France, and Germany, among others, have been using aforesaid technology. Here in the Philippines, back in January 2018, as the PMP chief that time, I have initiated the procurement of body-worn cameras for the PMP, 
with an allotted budget of 334 million. This includes 12,476 body cameras, 175 body camera live streaming systems, 1,941 computer set, sets, and 2,103 docking stations in order to promote transparency between the PNP and the public. Before I proceed, let me recognize the presence of uh, Senator uh, Tol, uh, Tolentino, the Vice Chairman of this committee. Thank you. In fact, research found several advantages of the use of body cameras, such as increase in the safety of both the public and the police, improvement in police accountability and protection of officers from false accusations of misconduct, and <clears throat> is similarly a good tool for teaching officers how to perform during difficult encounters with the public. However, different sectors likewise manifested their objections on the ground that it violates the privacy of citizens or that the procurement of body cameras will be too expensive. <clears throat> this committee hearing aims to institutionalize the use of body cameras of law enforcement officers, making it mandatory during law enforcement operations and special police operations, while also taking into consideration the concerns of our law enforcement officials as well as the public in general. I thus encourage all our research persons to actively participate in today's discussion in order to craft a law with, that, with an end in view of upholding the constitutional principle that public office is a public trust. Maraming salamat, magandang umaga sa ating lahat. Let me also acknowledge uh, the presence of my good friend, Mr. Arsenio Evangelista, the president of BACC. Thank you, sir, for coming. Uh, we'll hear from uh, Thank you, Mr. Senator Chair. Tolentino. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I attended the, the opening of another committee hearing. That was, that's why I'm late. I attended the Trade and Commerce. I've been advocating the upgrading of the four-piece program to include the... Uh, entrepreneurial endeavors. Um, Mr. Chair, I, I really support uh, the initiatives of the uh, authors here for the four bills. We're considering Senate Bill 85, Senate Bill 427, Senate Bill 518, Senate Bill 721. When I was then on the A chairman, ako, modesty aside, ako po yung nag-introduce ng cameras na merong facial recognition sa Metro Manila. Nakalimutan na nung iba. Kahit minunal ka, Pag nakunang ka sa footbridge ng Taft Avenue, may kaso ka, pwedeng ma mahalungkat yung inyong records. At napakarami rin po, Mr. Chair, na, na mga insidente na yung mga traffic enforcers ko ay napaaway, hindi namatay, kinaladkad, wala ho ebidensya. Wala, ho noong, uh, wala pa ho noong kaming uh, kapabilidad na gumamit ng mga body cams. Pero idagdag ko lang po yung isang napakahalagang bagay na sinabi ni Sir, Sir Robert Peel, 18, as early as 1829, considered as the father of modern police operations. He, he developed the nine principles of law enforcement, foremost of which is, and I quote, the ability of the police to perform their duties is dependent upon public approval of police existence, actions, behavior, and the ability of the police to secure and maintain public respect, unquote. Kaya po nakabango ng LA Police. Kung nakikita niyo yung mga previous incidents po before, ay dahil doon sa mga dash cameras na patunayan nila na yung ginagawa nila ay hindi po racial, hindi po base sa ginawa ng isang, uh, if I may uh, add a rather offensive uh, language, hindi, ba, hindi dahil itin yung ginulpe o nahuli dahil nakunan po lahat ito ng uh, cameras. Napakaganda po ng intention ng mga nakafile na bills. Darating po tayo sa yugto ng uh, 
period of amendments and interpolations, siguro po ang tatanungin ko po rito ay yung tungkol sa admissibility and evidence ng mga kuha. How to authenticate all of this, how to uh, present this properly in court, how to address the... Kasi po nakaka-fake na rin ngayon ng, ng footages. Uh, sabi nga ni Pope, ni Cardinal pala kahapon, uh, wag, ang antayin natin yung good news, wag yung fake news. So nakaka-fake nakaka -fake cameras din. So having said that, Mr. Chair, uh, I, 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 I willingly support uh, the, the four measures subject to some uh, refinements uh, as to Uh, legal admissibility and evidence uh, in courts, uh, Mr. Chair. Salamat po. Thank you, Senator Tolentino. Uh, before we proceed, let me acknowledge the presence of Mr. Manjinder James Kumar, Secretary General, VACC. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. Thank you, uh, James. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. As a uh, Mentioned by Senator Tolentino, the agenda for this meeting are the following. We have four Senate bills to tackle. Number one is the Senate, Senate Bill number 85, an act requiring and regulating the use of wearable body cameras and dashboard cameras by law enforcement officers in the course of conducting a search or making an arrest, providing funds, therefore, and for other purposes by Senator Richard Gordon. Number two, Senate, Senate Bill number 427, mandating law enforcement personnel to wear a body camera during law enforcement and special force operations, providing guidelines for the use of body camera and video footage retention and penalizing non-compliance with recording and retention requirements by Senator Francis Pangilinan. Number three, Senate Bill Number 518, an act mandating law enforcement personnel to wear a body camera during law enforcement and special police operations, providing funds, therefore, and for other purposes by uh, your strongly. Number four, Senate Bill Number 721, an act mandating the use of on body cameras by law enforcement officers during an anti illegal drug and criminality operations and providing funds therefore by Senator Sherwin Gachalian. <clears throat> so I hope uh, you lalong lalo na sa PNP, you have uh, advanced copies of this and uh, you have uh, made advanced uh, readings on the provisions of these uh, bills. So To tackle these uh, bills, uh, let me tackle this by, by salient features. Then, uh, pag-usapan natin kung okay ba sa inyo ito o hindi. Or, uh, kung meron kayong gustong sabihin, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to pop out para ma-recognize kayo. At this point, uh, meron bang gustong Bago natin ito i-discuss, meron kayong sort of opening statement or whatever, comments from the resource persons? The, the chief PMP, you have something to say? Like a smile on chief PMP, oh. <laughs> uh, Thank you very much, Your Honor. Well, the, the Philippine National Police, uh, during your administration, was really pushed to acquire this body-worn camera. It was a public claimer. That's why uh, appropriate funds were given. Although there were problems on procurement, uh, last December 4, we have finally completed the procurement of body-worn cameras. There's a general guidelines, operational guidelines and policies on the use of body-worn camera. Although in the absence of and a very exact law on this, which I think uh, the committee is intending. Um, the PNP in, the craft, in crafting this has already observed the necessary limitation in terms of the Constitution and other related laws. But the PNP is open if there are 
other factors that requires legislation so that it can uh, define with uh, with specifics on how to use the body worn camera and the PNP is open for any legislation that this committee might uh, create thereafter thank you your honor yeah of course uh, those are subject subject to change after this uh, bills uh, will, will be approved into law so mabaguhin pa natin yan alam ko meron bang based on this itong apat na bills ito uh, marami pa tayong dadagdag diyan any more thank you for that uh, chief pp Okay, so simulan na natin itong uh, uh, balangkasin, isa-isa, according to salient features. As I've said, number one, kay Senator Gordon, number two, kay Senator Pangilinan, number three, yung aking version, at number four, yung version ni Senator Gatsalian. Itong salient features naman nito ay... Uh, broken down into mandatory use in the, into the following, no? Mandatory use of wearable body cameras, activation of video and audio recording functions, the activation of body camera, notification to the subject. Prohibition. Tapos, mandatory use of dashboard cameras on vehicles. Ito yung version ni Senator Gordon. Minimum core standards. Sipin mo, pati core standards, ha? we are not leaving it up to the, to, to the IRR. Sinamo pa ni Senator Gordon dito para to ensure talaga na maganda yung kalabasan nito. Pero we will also consider your inputs. Baka mas maganda yung uh, standards na nakikita ninyo. So, tingnan natin. Retention of video footage. Right to inspect and possess a copy of a video footage. Mahaba-haba ito. Marami ito. Non withholding from the public. Use of reduction technology. Parties maintaining footages. Disciplinary action. Disputable presumption in favor of the plaintiff. Prohibited use as evidence. Then funding. And... Uh, Last but not the least is uh, court discretion. Amero pa presa. Periodic review. So, itong apat na versions ay uh, maraming magkaparihas pero meron ding medyo hindi na kakaparihas. So, kaya may topic, may salin picture sa atin ito to discuss. Let me acknowledge the presence of Jose uh, Catalino Uy. Pero mo Catalino Uy? Catalino Kuy. Kuy, Kuy, Kuy. Saan ba si General Kuy? Wala eh. Hindi. Ito, ito. Wala eh. Hindi. Ilapitan mo. Kung si, kasi hindi si General Catalino Kuy yung dumating Kasing pugi. Kasing pugi ni General Coy. Also, Director Levi's Ortiz, the Director of SAS Pedia. How, how do we pronounce this? Levi's? Levi's. Levi's. Oh, Levi's. So, matibay na pantalon yan. <laughs> Rangler si Senator Tolle. Eh. Thank you for coming.
Maka pati ang chairman ng committee, mamalasin dito sa resource person dahil mali yung pagkuha mo. Yusik Bernardo Flores Jr. Uh, of DILG for peace and order. Sir, nakita kasi niya, sir, kasi pugi ka ni General uh, Koy. Yan, kamali. Thank you, sir, for coming. For the mandatory use of uh, wearable body cameras, according to Senator Gordon, all law enforcement officers with the authority to conduct Searches and arrests shall be required to wear a body camera and record the events that occur while in the course of conducting search or making an arrest. Such body cameras shall be worn in a location and manner that maximizes the camera's ability to capture a video footage of the law enforcement's other activities. According to Senator Pangilinan, within two years upon the effectivity of the act, a body camera shall become a standard equipment of all law enforcement officers conducting law enforcement operation and special police operations. Such body camera shall be worn in a location and manner that maximizes the camera's ability to capture video footages of the officer's activities. Kung sa akin naman, it's almost the same. Kay Sheryl Gatsalian, almost the same din. So, any comment on this particular salient point, salient feature? No objection? Yes, Sir. Nagtanungin ko lang yung legal ng Napol ko. Nandito ba yun? Sino yung legal dito? NBI legal? Wala. MMD. Attorney Galicia. Attorney Galicia. Yung, yung nabanggit po ni Senator, ni Sir, the good chair, uh, nakalagay doon sa mga proposed laws coming from Senators Gatchelian, Gordon, and Pangilinan. If there is a police operation, kailangan nakasuot na yung body cam. Tama po ba yun? There, there's no problem concerning that. Bago mag-operate, bago mag-search, bago mag-arrest, nakakabit na yung body cam. Ang tanong ko lang po, inaalaw ng batas, di po ba, na magkaroon ng warrantless searches, arrest? Di ba? Immediately after an incident, during a, uh, a crime committed in the presence of a police officer, eh papano ho kung, kung nagkataon, uh, ang tanong ko Mr. Chair, isang patrolman natin, nakakita ng holdapan, o hinabol niya, sinaksak, hinabol niya doon sa mga iskinita, eh hindi naman siya Uh, hindi naman siya nakatokang mag-serve ng warrant noon. Ihabulin niya yun, trabaho niya yun. So, i-invoke ngayon yung uh, warrantless arrest. Eh, wala siya noon. Paano, ho yung, paano, yung, paano natin ma, makukover ng bill ito, yung mga ganong searches, arrest na nagkataon uh, while, it, while on a police beat, hindi eh, nangyari sa harap niya, kahit hindi siya yung tiga-arrest, eh, siyempre gagawin niya yung trabaho niya. Paano ho yun? Bibigyan ba natin ng kailangan ba siya tumakbo sa isang police car na nakatigil sa kanto na may mga body camera, suot muna siya bago arrestuhin, o tawag siya sa kanyang uh, pinaka-team leader, Sir, may hinahabol ako dito, itakbo niya yung camera, isusuot ko na kayo, nakatakbo na. So, paano yung ganitong sitwasyon? Yan lang po, uh, Mr. Chief. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. I think that's the reason why, Your Honor, that this, this should not be absolute. There should be an exception. Uh, in cases of planned operation, I think that's required that it's going to be mandatory. But in cases of inflagrante arrest, I think it should be excused or uh, uh, be justified that it's impractical for police officers to go to the police station and uh, get a body camera just to arrest somebody. So I, I think it, it should be covered that there must be an exception and it should not be absolute, Your Honor kung uh, gawin ng required uh, yung sa mga team leaders required na may daladalang body camera para kung sakaling sa ganong sitwasyon, yeah, habulin. Oh, suot mo na agad, habul ka na. Pwede ba yung ganon? O, o, pwede ba natin i-convert ito doon sa mga warrantless arrest searches na oh, use, your, use your cell phone? Pwede ba yung ganon? 
papayag ba kayo sa ganon? Para wala na exemption, para lahat ng arrest natin, meron na ang camera. Cellphone naman ang gamitin. O exemption pa rin yung inyong pananaw, uh, attorney. Yes, Your Honor, we should uh, understand that uh, usually in flagrated delicto cases, no? it's uh, it happens very fast. No? You cannot think of something else but to react. You cannot think of uh, getting your phone or putting your body cameras. You have to act fast, just like that. Baka masaktan ka pa, maunahan ka pang uh, yes, Your Honor. nung isa. Nagkakabit-kabit ka pa ng ano, napatukang ka na. Yes, Kaya ba yung mo? So, case-to-case -case basis. So, ang mangyayari dito sa batas, pag napasa, uh, doon lamang i-implement doon sa may planned operations. Uh, binigyan ng husgado, ito yon, gamit-gamit na. Pero yung, yung sinasabi mong flag flagrante delicto, biglaan, eh, ano na ito, ba bahala na yung instinct ng police officer na mag-responde to preserve his life as well as to apprehend the, the culprit. Ganun po ba? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yan lang po. Siguro, uh, uh, yung nasasabi nito is uh, when practicable. Uh, yung planned operations, mandatory yan. Bago kayo mag-jump off, bago mag-go-go-go, kuha mo na. Isa sa command ng commander dapat is put on your uh, body camera. Yun mo na. Kung hindi niya na put on bago nag-go, may kasalanan siya. Nakalimutan niya yun. Dapat naka-on lahat yan. At saka yung mga planned uh, operations nga, like uh, by bus operations, kailangan talaga na naka-on yan. Pero yung mga nangyayari nga, yung flagrante, yung mga biglaan, nakasabi dito, kung wala kang issue na body camera, ay bakit ka require na wala kang mga isyo? Pero kung meron kang isyo, naka body worn yung camera mo, pero win practicable. Alba, unahin mo pa pag on ang camera, kaysa pag bunot ng baril, binabaril ka na eh. So dapat win practicable. O kaya hinahabol mo, kaysa mag, -mag on ka, tapos uh, unahin mo muna ng on bago ka tumakbo. O unahin mo na yung pagdakma bago mo i-on. When practicable nga, sinasabi nyo, depende sa sitwasyon. So, siguro, ganun na uh, Senator Tulo. Uh, we, we have to admit na hindi naman lahat may isiwan. Dahil 195,000 strong na ang PNP ngayon, di ba? So, sana, dandahan hanggang sa magkakaroon tayo lahat. Pero, priority muna ang uh, isiwan ninyo siguro nito, yung mga uh, anti-drug operatives. Dahil doon, ang PMP tinitira na wawalan ng uh, uh, dandahan na wala ng uh, tiwala yung tao kapag uh, may namatay tapos hindi na ma-justify ng police kung paano namatay yun. So doon tayo tinitira. So dapat doon priority yung anti-drug operatives. At uh, yung ibang operations na malalaki, dapat meron kayong uh, assigned na cameras. Anyway, hindi naman siguro ito madudoktor, dahil alam ko, iba yung, uh, meron ba kayong presentation? As para as yung, ito, ito yung initial procurement ninyo. Uh, meron kayong presentation kung anong system yung gina-adapt gina ninyo? Sir, in any procurement, uh, there's a stage called proof of concept. The proponent is supposed to be allowed to present how it's going, what's going to happen if the cameras or a certain equipment is Procured. However, in this kind, in this procurement, we did not require proponents for a proof of concept. So, hindi namin sir makita kung how it's going to work. No, we will really know it pag na deliver na, and then uh, they will install it. How about this one? Itong present nito. Sir, that, that's just the conceptual framework on how the camera operates. No, pero yung Ano lang ito, sir, uh, general concept, but uh, this has not found any uh, actual application based on proof of concept. Ako, as, as, I, as far as I understand, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yung body cameras na yan, hindi talaga yan specific to a, ser, to a single person. Pwede yung may lipat-lipat, 
Kung sino ang kagandak na operasyon, siya ang gagamit niyan. Oh. At recorded naman yan lahat, di ba? Kung sino gagamit niyan, kaya walang problema dyan. At pagkatapos ng lakad, ng operations, o pagkatapos ng duty niya, ilalagay yan doon sa docking station, isaksak yan doon para for uploading towards the mainframe, ano yung sasabi lang? Para makuha, ma-store ma lahat. Server. Server. Ma-store lahat ng uh, recordings dyan. Then, the following day, yung mag-duty na naman, siya naman gagamit yan, It may be another uh, person. Basta kumplito ang recording. At hindi yan basta-basta na doktor. Yung laman yan. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Sir, I'd like to make uh, two distinctions. The body-worn camera can be of two use. First, departmental. Second, as an evidence in an administrative or criminal case. In all the different situations, it requires different stringent like uh, chain of custody. Sa departmental, sir, hindi siya masyado because uh, it's just for the consumption of the PNP. Probably to improve on our policies, to improve on our uh, operations. However, if we require it already for administrative cases, the proof of uh, evidence required is substantial meaning much more heavier than a departmental use. More so when it is for prosecution and criminal cases, which requires proof beyond reasonable doubt. Under the three different uses, I think it would require different chain of custody. Kagaya sir, nung sinabi nyo, na hindi pwedeng kunin lang, tapos iiwan, ganyan. But uh, when it will be used for criminal cases, it will require a very stringent procedure. Because once presented in court, the chain of custody of the data is very important. So I hope whenever uh, a law would be crafted, it would really define whether how the chain of custody would be if it is for departmental use, how it would be if it's for criminal cases, and how it would be for administrative cases. So, uh, just, uh, just a general impression. On the explanatory note that has been given by the different uh, senators who sponsored this, the main frame is that parang may kasalanan agad ng police. Now, sir, I'd like to equate this with the procurement law. When the procurement law was enacted in uh, Republic Act 9184, ang premise is corrupt ang gobyerno. That's why a lot of agencies have not really coped with the law because they did not understand the real essence why it is crafted. That's why it is, very in, it, it is very important that deliberations of this in crafting the law are recorded. Because, sir, uh, makita nyo, uh, a lot of government ages, agencies has not complied with the procurement law. As a matter of fact, uh, all big scandals and anomalies in government had involved procurement law. Why? Because it is premised na ang gobyerno e corrupt. So it was too stringent na ang nangyari tuloy parang sa sobrang ingat, hindi na, maka, hindi na makagalaw ng husto. No? And I hope uh, when crafting the body-worn camera uh, law, it would not premise that the, there's a JK in the Philippines, there are uh, uh, unsolved killings. I hope it would, because when, when we craft law, it should pertain to, or it should apply to generations onwards, not only for this particular situation. Of course, it is an igniter. It might be a predictor in the crafting of law, but uh, generally, sana sir, kung pwede, we presume muna that the work of government, especially the PNP, is regular. Kasi pag uh, ang premise, sir, eh, Masama kami, the law will be crafted in such a way that it's too strict, there might be too much limitation, and it might affect uh, operational uh, efficiency of the PNP. Hindi ko naman pinangunahan, sir, but uh, I would just like to submit that uh, the main framework sana would be uh, regular muna yung functions natin and crafted ito 
uh, for the three different uh, uses, as I have mentioned, uh, Your Honor. Well, take in the uh, point mo, uh, General Gamboa. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, hindi pa rin talaga natin maalis-alis. Kaya ito nag-crop up itong requirement na ito dahil nga sa mga reklamo ng mga allegedly uh, uh, AJK ko. No? So, kinakailangan talaga natin itong gawin. But anyway, we, we have, uh, we maintain that yung sinasabi mo na dapat ganun uh, hindi ang initial impression is that makasalanan kagad ang polis. We will maintain that Kasi hindi lang naman ito ngayon. Hanggang future, uh, hanggang sa kung saan naabot itong gamit na ito. So, oh, please. Just one point, Mr. Chair. Dito sa, ibig sabihin itong conceptual framework presented, hindi pa talaga ito dahil walang proof of concept. Pero sa tingin ko po dito, sir, parang uh, because of the presence of uh, a 4G, 3G LTE tower, nakaka-communicate sa police station yung holders ng 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 body cam so nakaka nakakabato rin sila of operations uh, uh, successful mission accomplished you know makaka using the body cam or uh, ibabato kagad yung nakunan whoever is manning the central data center yung nakunan nila na ibabato kagad no ganun ba tong lumalabas dito uh, Mr. Chair kay General Gamboa uh, yes, sir. Sir, ang, ang concept is that uh, there are certain levels of operational control when we do specific operations. So, merong, kung kunwari, uh, service of search warrant, ang talagang nagmamandon would be yung nagsiserve mismo ng search warrant. But, uh, kaya meron tayong live streaming because the immediate commander can actually see. And, uh, at his level, correct, appropriate uh, operational lapses that might be uh, that might be happening at a certain point in time. Pero sir, parang pinapabayaan namin yung team leader ng search warrant to do the search. The, the purpose of the live streaming is departmental. Meaning to say, if there are certain uh, factors in operations that requires the decision of a higher level of officer, that's why it's for live streaming. Now, kung kunwari, sir, a uh, national crisis that requires a uh, higher decision-making, kaya, sir, nila live stream namin sa national headquarters. But other than that, uh, ito, sir, yung purpose, bakit may live streaming? Kasi ayaw din namin na, uh, eh, kunwari, a, a, an operation at the municipal level, eh, pakikialaman ng provincial director o ng regional director. Unless it will escalate to a higher situation that requires higher decision makers to decide. Yun sir yung purpose. So basically, ang, ang camera is when, when used, meron lang siyang uh, mandatory na after the use, he should be, it should be recorded. So, uh, ang, ang tingin ko rito, nakapapanood ko lang nung mga scene nung isang gabi. So lumalabas dito, ito yung ala Osama Bin Laden operations. Kita nung ano, nung pinaka pinaka HQ ko ano yung nangyayari hindi kahit hindi mag-interfere yung yung uh, yung pinaka commander bahala na yun sa ground ganun po ba yon so hindi tayo yung napapanood natin sa TV yung mga NCIS FBI turn left turn right move to the left yung nagko-command na yung hindi ito yon di ba ang dami natin napapanood sa FBI eh, NCIS na may isang nagko-command sa satellite Alam kung saan pupunta, may kasalubong ka dyan, turn left, uh, beer to the right, di ba? Hindi ito yung gano'n. Yun, yun ang magandang, ano sir, yun ang magandang, uh, magandang software, the satellite, hindi ito yun o gano'n na rin ito? Uh, the skills of the PNP is not yet prepared for that, sir. But uh, we can go as way, way forward. We can, we can do that, sir. But as of yet, uh, ang purpose lang talaga is just for recording, not for uh, maneuver. Kunwari, sir, yung sinasabi ko, uh, meron kunwari isang service ng search warrant. No? Level lang siya ng team leader ng search warrant. Kunwari, may na-discuss siya. It would require an evacuation. Then, a higher level, say, a provincial or at the national level to to uh, 
to give them like uh, air support. Kasi meron na tayong mga choppers. And that's the time, ah, ketchup for higher level decision making. But other than that, uh, sa nakikita namin sir, no, as plan, is ano lang muna siya talaga. Uh, gagamitin na siya and then i-record and then review it for departmental use for change of policy and operational procedures. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, yung sinasabi ni Senator Tolentino is uh, pwedeng gawin ng PNP yan. Well, uh, dahil naman at the operational or ano sa baba, tactical level, pwedeng gawin yan kasi nga kaya nga live streaming eh. Halimbawa, yung body camera ng SAP, hindi nakalagay dito sa body, sa chest, nakapatong sa helmet ng SAP, tapos nag live streaming ka habang nag-assault sila ng... Uh, Di ba? Nag-assault sila ng objective. Pwede makapag-command yung commander ng SAP pang Bicotan. Kukumand niya yung uh, halimbawa nag-operate sa banda through, through satellite phone. Sabihin, oh, sa kaliwa ninyo, mayroong landmines dyan. Nakikita niya sa body camera niyo. Baka busy ka lang nakipagputokan dyan sa, sa mga active shooters na kalaban pero hindi mo nakikita. May landmines na nakatanim sa kaliwa. Nakita namin dito. So, siguro, at the technical level, pwede yung gawin nila yan. Alam mo, si IDJ, pag, uh, pag uh, kandak ng uh, uh, kwan, search doon sa bahay during uh, search warrant operations, uh, may makikita. But uh, as I have said, we leave it up to the commanders how they are going to exploit this technology to the advantage of the law enforcement unit. So, wala tayong comment dito. Wala tayong problema sa mandatory use of wearable body cameras. Merong, your, yes, sir? Your Honor. Please. Your Honor, uh, most of the cases filed by today in court concern um, applic uh, implementation of search warrants and by bus operation or entrapment operation. Uh, in the in the bill proposed by Senator Gordon, there was this phrase that states, body cameras shall but, not be... I'm sorry. Uh, okay lang kahit na pupunta kayo sa bandang, kahit hindi ko pa Ay, yes. tinatakil yung salient point niyan, you can go ahead kung yes, your Honor. nasa baba pa, nasa ilalim. Go ahead. There was this requirement that body cameras shall not be used surreptitiously. Your Honor, in case of entrapment operation, we would uh, we have a concern on that, Your Honor. Considering that um, um, BIBAS is um, an operation that is made in secrecy, Your Honor. How do we make a BIBAS successful if the camera is required to be um, placed in such uh, in the part of the body that is not visible to the other party, Your Honor? That would be a great concern, Your Honor, for today. Well, uh, you have a point. Yes, in case of search warrant, Your Honor, we have no problem with that because the there is an expectation, Your Honor, on the part of the, yeah. the subject that he would be the subject of law enforcement operation that is authorized by law. Uh, uh, when you say yung by bust operation, yes, Your Honor. Ito yung portion ng pre yung test by yung ba yung 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 sabi? Both the test by Your Honor and the by bust proper itself, Your Honor. Tama ka. Tama ka. Any comment? Please, uh, Chief NB. Sir, so I'd like to, I know the legislators are aware of this, that there's such a thing as hierarchy of rights and interests. Primordial of this is national security, national health, and etc., which should be priority second only to the rights of citizens, like the right to privacy. So, dapat ito, sir, uh, I know that this is, uh, ano naman ito, sir, no? this is bas very basic in, in Sabatas, na unahin talaga muna yung national interest before the right to privacy. Kasi, like for example, sir, yung, yung kunwari uh, na ta na takil kanina, kung kailan siya mandatory at kailan siya as far as practicable. Ang, ang to give a very good example is, kung nari search warrant, search warrant, we're allowed or we are required by law to provide witnesses. And probably, it could be integrated in the bill that instead of required witnesses in the search, in the service of warrants, 
the the uh, recordings or the data of the body worn camera can be a substitute to these uh, witnesses. Kasi sir, kunwari, uh, like pag inventory ng uh, evidences after a buy bust or after a search warrant, after a raid, the law requires witnesses coming from an elected official, a member of the media, and sometimes, no, just like uh, what we had experienced before, takot din silang magpirma kasi <laughs> takot sila lalo na pag uh, big cases, lalo na yung nakakuha tayo ng 371 kilos. And the law can actually exploit the possibility that the body-worn camera can be a substitute for the witnesses required of by law. So ang, ang, ang efficiency on accounting, on inventory, would be very fast if we allow the admissibility of account for accounting purposes or other related uh, works in police operations. So sana sir makita din ito that uh, it can be a substitute. But of course, there are different procedures to follow to so that the integrity and the contents of the data won't be questioned later on. Or it can stand even on uh, on prosecution on criminal cases. Thank you. Noted, uh, Chief PNP. Babalik ako doon sa PDA. Kindly, basahin mo nga yung uh, ino object mo na provision doon kay Senator Gordon na version. Yung surreptitiously. Sige Section 3, line 4. Line 4 to 7, Your Honor. That body cameras shall not be used surreptitiously. A law enforcement officer who is wearing a body camera shall, as far as practicable, that would be okay, Your Honor, notify the subject of the recording that he or she is being recorded by, uh, by a body camera at the commencement of the encounter, Your Honor. Mukhang malabo nga ito, ano? Sige, uh, Secretary, please take note on this. Siguro ang sinasabi ni Senator Gordon dito, doon lang ito sa mga regular police operations. Pero pagdating sa by-bust operations, hindi nga ito po pwede. Mababayulit talaga ito, di ba? Alam ano, ipakita mo lang. I-display mo yung body camera mo dito. Naka-civilian ka nga, naka-short pan ka nga para mapagkamalan ka talaga na Hindi ka push your buyer, kundi talaga totoong buyer ka ng drugs. E pag nakita ito, sigurado barilin ka na ng, uh, ng uh, pusher. Sige, ikwan natin ito. We will, please. Privacy Commission. Andito ba? Ma'am, ay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No problem, sir. Na narinig ba yung kan? Yung kay PDA? Yung community PDA, sir? Good morning po sa lahat. Uh, Senator. Please, uh, identify yourself. Uh, hindi ko po na, 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 na dinig ko na ano. Kasi ako ay... Eh, uh, kung maaaring maulit lang po ba, may tanong po ba about uh, privacy? Uh, uh, yung, yung may provision dito sa version ni Senator Gordon na ino-object ng PDA dahil nga nakasabi dito, the bawal gamitin yung body camera surreptitiously. But in the case of PDEA, during the conduct of bypass operation, you cannot be uh, unsurreptitious in uh, using your camera. Otherwise, tatamaan ka, babarilin ka ng kalaban mo dyan pag nakita may body camera ka. So, ang purpose ni Senator Gordon dito is, siguro, in relation to privacy, no? Yes, uh, can we uh, get S your... Uh, senator, yes, yeah, Senator. Uh, I think uh, yeah. Senator uh, Tolentino is a lawyer. Yes, he can uh, um, eh, explain more on this para lawyer to lawyer. Siguro, Makinig siguro, mo muna ako. Ma mal malaman natin sa... Okay, Commissioner ba? Chairman? Ano bang? Commissioner. Commissioner uh, malaman natin yung paano ma-relate ito, itong four proposed bills doon sa Data Privacy Act of 2012. Uh, kasi yung... Yung Data Privacy Act of 2012 uh, ensures the privacy of communications and uh, correspondence in Section 3 and then yung physical privacy. So, 
how will this, uh, how will the body cameras, uh, the footages, uh, be reconciled with what what is contained in the local uh, uh, data privacy act of 2012. Pinag-uusapan po dito kanina, ganun katagal pwedeng itago yung kinunan. Uh, ilang oras, ilang 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 araw, ilang buwan kahit wala pang court order. But before you answer that, uh, yung po siguro sir chairman, let me acknowledge you. Ha? Your chairman Raymond Liboro. Liboro, Libora. Liboro of the National Privacy Commission. Please uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Senator Talentino, Senator Del Rosa, good morning po sa lahat po sa atin dito. Um, thank you for the opportunity uh, to be invited uh, in this. Uh, uh, pasensya na po kayo. Kami, ako talaga hum humabo lamang. Pero minabuti ko talaga ma-address ko talaga ho tayo tungkol ho sa Data Privacy Act. If, if you will allow uh, the um, uh, Chair and uh, Senators, uh, I prepared a very short ano lang po just to put it on record. So that uh, then, pag-usapan ho natin yung all, ano? Please go ahead, go ahead. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. The Data Privacy Act of 2012 aims to protect the right to privacy while at the same time ensuring free flow of information for innovation and growth. The law promotes fair, secure, and lawful processing of personal information. With this in mind, the National Privacy Commission supports the mandatory use of body-worn cameras by law enforcement officers in the conduct of their law enforcement operations. Subject, of course, to the necessary controls with respect to the collection, use, disclosure, and retention of footages, as well as the implementation of reasonable and appropriate safeguards to protect personal information of the law enforcement officers, the subjects of the video footages, and the public in general. We recognize that this endeavor demonstrates transparency and accountability on the part of government and upholds data privacy rights. While the use of this body-worn camera system may entail potential data privacy risks, this must be anticipated and mitigated at the outset to prevent harm to data subjects. And should there be a technical working group to be, you know, to be informed uh, in this committee, the National Privacy Commission requests that we be included or invited um, to the meetings of this technical working group so that we may be able to provide assistance in keeping with our mandate of monitoring and ensuring compliance with data protection standards. Thank you, sir. So let me just go to the uh, chair, if you will, um, maybe the, the, the topic of the discussion you, you mentioned earlier. Um, and hopefully also to, to, to bust some myths about data privacy. Are we against law enforcement? Is data privacy contradictory to law enforcement and public order? Definitely not. Um, we are now in a world where we recognize that, yes, and law enforcement is a very important, and of course, you know, what pillars of, 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 a, of a progressive society. And data privacy is here to support, support that. Even while we speak, we belong to a, um, to a uh, conference of international bodies, 134 jurisdictions, of whom marami hu dyan, no, have, have uh, belong to jurisdictions like the UK, like even in the EU, na very ano na ang kanilang heightened, ang kanilang law enforcement because of the terrorism that's happening to them. But the privacy authorities in all those, they, they, they coexist. No? It doesn't mean ho na uh, uh, wala hu sila mga alitan, pero nag exist hu ng Nang, uh, nang tama ho yung privacy authority and the law enforcement bodies. So, sa atin po, yung, pong, yung privacy law ho natin, malaki ho dyan ang galing ho talaga sa uh, reference to the EU's, no? yung GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, heavily influenced ho yung batas po natin ng, ng EU. Ano lang ho ba sinasabi natin dito? So, while we uphold the right to privacy, the free flow information, senators, must be also, it's also our job to ensure that this happens. So in the case, for example, of law enforcement, our law gives wide, wider latitude to the functions of government when it comes to collecting information. In fact, yung pung, um, uh, one major basis of, of lawful processing, if it is conducted by or uh, because of a public authority function or mandate, 
dito po sa gobyerno ho, if you are performing within your mandate, okay, you're already fulfilling one of the uh, a basic criteria for the lawful processing of, of data. That's why marami hong government offices, hindi na ho natin kailangan humingi ng consent. Hindi ho, hindi ho nire-require na ho yun sa government as long as nandun po siya, pasok siya doon sa inyong mandate. That's why ho sa COMELEC, pag ho tayo ay kailangan mag-fill up ng ating mga registration na hinihingi ng COMELEC, hindi na ho yan hinihingan pa ng consent. Ganon din ho sa police. Hindi na ho, kapag ho yan ay pasok ho doon sa inyong maliwanag na law enforcement, public authority mandate. Pero, Ano ho bang obligasyon naman natin dito? Uh, meron ho tayong obligasyon naman to secure itong information na ito. Halimbawa, ito po ay napunta sa ibang kamay o nagamit ho sa ibang paraan, then magkakaproblema ho tayo with the Data Privacy Act. For as long as ginagamit po natin siya sa paraan ho na mandato naman natin, dalawa ho ang lagi nating iisipin. yung legitimate purpose ng paggamit ho ng information at competent authority ho yung gumagawa. Kung meron ho tayong bubuin dito ho na, na babalangkas ho tayo ng plano dito, TW, TWG, in any legislation, uh, dear senators, two things, establish yung legitimate purpose and secondly, competent authority yung magpapatupad. So halimbawa ho, gagawa ho ngayon tayo ng protocol kung sino lang ang tamang may body count. Pwede bang ibigay yan sa isang halimbawa tao na hindi naman PMP, na hindi naman ano, pero yun, yun yung mga bagay na huya, yan ho yung mga titignan natin. Pwede bang ibigay yan sa, sa, sa isang alalay? O pwede bang ipasuot na lang yan kahit kanino? Kasi may responsibilidad ho tayo. For as long as tundun ho tayo, yung protocols ho natin answers that, do we have that legitimate purpose? And are we balancing it now you know, with, with potential, potential risks? So, Babalik lang po ako, napakaganda po kasi ng panahon po ngayon na, again, um, even for law enforcement, again, with the, with the advent of, of technologies, yung facial recognition po ginagamit na sa marami hong, marami hong bansa. Ginagamit po sa mga bansa na malalakas din ang privacy authorities. So, um, this I think is a very, kaya po, Senator, Uh, napakaganda exercise po nito. Kasi gusto kong masabi rin ho sa lahat sa mga kapulisan, sa atin po mga kasama, hindi ho kami nandito para pigilan ho ang, ang trabaho ho ng, ng pulis. Pero ma-remind ho ang lahat no? na una, we must be sure about the purpose and second, competent ho yung authority na gagamit po noon. They will need to be trained. They will know how to use it, how to share it, how to store it, how to dispose it. O paano ho yung ano natin? Ano ho ba? Gano'n ho ba katagal ang retention ng videos, videos na yan? Uh, kung gagamitin ho siyang ebidensya, di ho ba? Sa, sa court eh. Iyan ho na consider ho ng batas po natin. So, again, um, yung pong data privacy act, makakatulong po yan na mag magkakumpiyansa ho yung mamamayan dun ho sa pangungulekta ng informasyon ho ng pamahalaan. Yun lang po, uh, Mr. Senators. Lumalabas, oh, lumalabas po sa narinig ko. Parang ikaw ngayon yung may oversight dito. Parang CHR ka na rin. Dun sa, <laughs> ang lalabas dito, pag sinabi ng komisyo, uh, National Privacy Commission na, teka, uh, PMP, mali yung paggamit nyo ngayon yan, uh, baka hindi maging admissible in court yan. Ganun ba yung, pag medyo lumabag doon sa dalawang panuntunan yung, na sinabi mo. Yung, yung pong ano, uh, Senator, sabi nga ho, um, We are not the gatekeepers of what you or you cannot do in, in the digital society. What we're here is to remind you that, you know, uh, meron who rights who ang mga tao that we should also uphold. All right? At merong obligasyon who tayo na meron din who kailangan din who nating uphold. Now, for example, meron who tayong reportorial in cases of breach, halimbawa, no, na compromise ulah lahat itong database na ito, may nakahak halimbawa dun sa central database niya at naku, meron ho tayo may mga ganun lang po ng mga requirement. Mr. Mr. Chair, yes, ano, ano naman na magiging sanction sa kapulisan, halimbawa nagkaroon ng minor uh, deviation, nag, may, may na ituring ng National Privacy Commission na violation, ano ma, baka magkaroon ng sanction, yun naman nakatakot siya, baka sa isang police operation, 
i-off muna. Teka mo, delikado tayo. Baka isanction tayo ng National Privacy Commission. So ano naman ang pwedeng maging sanction? Baka doon naman, baka doon naman ma humina yung police operations dahil, oh, nakatingin sa atin ang National Privacy Commission. Baka kasuhan tayo nila. So, so, hindi kaya makahina naman ito sa police operations? Hindi, hindi po mangyayari yun. O uh, na natin yung batas Senator. ng National Privacy Commission. <laughs> Well, again, sa tayo ho ang ating ang atin lang ho, naiiba ho sa batas ho natin, unlike ko nga sa ibang bansa. Yung ibang bansa ho, kasi ang tawag sa kanila, consent criteria, no? Dapat nagko-consent. Sa atin ho, ang tawag ho, ang ating ho, ano, eh, lawfulness. Yun ho yung tinitingnan natin. And lawfulness so is, is determined by may legislators po na nagiging batas po yan. So, doon mo magsisimula, Senator, nasa mandaan to nila uh, gawin po ito, So, yung pagbalakas po ng protocols po nito, maaari ho kami makabagbigay ng uh, advice din sa kanila tungkol ho doon. But, ang, ang, ang objective po natin, eh, makahuli at maka, uh, mamaintain nga ho yung public order ho dito, no? mapuksa ang, ang droga. Yun ho yung pinakamataas na misyon ano? para ho dito. So, pagkaraniwan ho pa nagkakaroon po ng ganyan, senators, uh, may kakaroon ho ng violation. Hindi ho, ano, malapit ho yung batas ho natin, pero ang, ang hindi lang ho yun ang paraan ng National Privacy Commission upang magtuwid, maari ho tawag namin, uh, maglabas lang ho kami ng advice o compliance order na sinasabi. O kailangan i-adjust ho natin yung protocol natin, meron ho tayong hindi nakita. So may practice ho kami, ang tawag ho natin ng privacy impact assessment. So with that, Senator, empirically, titingnan ano ba ang potential risk dito and then how do we mitigate it? If there is no other way, halimbawa nga ho, ang body-worn camera, no? uh, uh, ang prinsipyo lang naman ho na, na, na gumagabay ho sa atin, kung wala na ho ibang paraan, halimbawa, sa isang sitwasyon, na yun lang ang maaaring paraan na mag, mag, makamit natin yung legitimate purpose at objective po natin. Right? At may risk po ho yan. As long as the benefits are higher, Senator, yun ho mitigation, yun yung something that the user, meaning the PNP, we should continue to be working on. So hindi dito ka kaagad, marami ho kami ngayon sa mga companies na meron nagwa-violate, we issue compliance orders po. Sasabihin lang ho natin doon, improve natin yung privacy impact assessment. O kaya hindi natin nakita itong bagay na ito, Um, bag baguhin natin o pagtibayin ho natin yung SOPs natin tungkol dito. Pag hindi nyo ho sinunod yung ganun pa rin, dun magkakaproblema, Senator. Kasi yun ho yung ano. Ang tinitingnan ko kasi, yung possibility na baka si Commission on Human Rights ay mag, uh, mag-linkage sa National Privacy Commission, baka magkaroon ng isang issue na ito, ginamit nyo ito, it, it is now a violation of human rights, mag-concord naman si National Privacy Commission. Nakasuhan pa yung mga polis natin ng human rights. Eh, ang very purpose nga nun ay maging transparent. So, has there been an instance na uh, yung, yung mga uh, privacy issues ay in-invoke ng Commission on Human Rights at uh, binigyan nyo ng consent? Kasi ganitong kaaga pa lang, dapat maayos na ito dahil baka lalong mapasubo ang kapulitan natin dahil Dalawa na ngayon komisyon ang kalaban namin, no? Commission on Human Rights, no? National Privacy Commission. <laughs> ang sasabi, ano ito, lang, ito, ito, lang, ito lang, Senator, sasabihin ko lang po sa inyo, sa mga marami hong bansa na gumagamit na nga ng body cam, may mga privacy authorities din ho doon. At hindi ho yan nagiging sagka ah, paggamit po ng... So, sabi nga, hindi ho kami, Senator, nandito para sabihin, huwag niyong gamitin yan o kami, o kami na magpapaalam. Hindi po ganoon. Um, pero yung hong gagawin ho natin na uh, SOPs or protocols, dyan ho makakatulong kami doon. Kung may nag-violate ng protocols na yun, ang kailangan lamang po doon, eh siguro pagtibayin yung, yung protocol. Kung patuloy hong, yung sinasabi ko, yung protocol ho mismo, tayo ho, kayo ho ang mag ano na, no? matutulungan ho namin kayo doon. Para lang ho yung Philsys ID rin, no? Uh, nung dumating ho yan, sabi ng mga ibang ano, eh ano yan, masyado namang national ID, no? pero um, uh, probably private, masyadong risky. So, ang intervention ng National Privacy Commission doon, eh, tumulong ho doon sa pag, pag ano po ng guidelines uh, for that, even ho yung pag-strengthen ho ng law, 
uh, doon na strengthen doon na kapag ho, again, no, nagamit ho ng hindi tama yung ID, may, may penalties ho na kasama. So, doon ho kami pumapasok, uh, uh, Senator. So, ako, doon na ho ako sa bagay na hindi na ho bago ho itong technology na ito. Ito ho'y ginagamit sa maraming bansa. At mas, ano ho ito, mas mag, habi ko nga ho, maaari ho tayo magtulungan ho para mas maging effective ho ito. Thank you for that uh, law enforcement, reinforcing uh, opinion coming from the chairman of the National Privacy Commission. Uh, by the way, your request to be included in the technical working group, kahit hindi ka mag-request, may mag-request sa inyo na sumama kayo para maganda yung mga protocols na gagawin dito. Uh, kasama po kayo. No, thank you, thank you. Any more? May nag-raise ang hands. Ito, sa custom? Sa ano po, sa PDA rin po. PDA, go ahead. Sir, uh, uh, good morning, sir. Uh, while uh, the National uh, Privacy Commission expressed great concern on the integrity in the safekeeping of the video recordings, uh, the law enforcement sector expressed great concern on the requirement of uh, obtaining the said videos, particularly under line 4 to 7 of the proposed uh, bill of uh, Senator Gordon, sir. Wherein uh, there is a notification requirement on the subject of the video recording. Uh, we're quite uh, imagining, well, in the kind of operation, baka ang maging punto na, pag nag-cooperate, imbis na ang kasunod na agad na, 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 ang kasunod na, agad na sigaw, after PDEA kami, you're under recording. So parang, parang nasa samurugate na yan. Kasi considering, sir, na perilos yung nature of operation, uh, ang primary requirement kagad is to notify the subject of the operation na he is put under uh, video recording. Rather than uh, keeping in mind the safety of the operatives, Thank you. Uh, we'll take in yan. Uh, tama ka. We consider that. Kaya uh, I hope uh, itong lahat ng particularly PDEA, I hope uh, nabasa nyo to lahat itong apat na version. Then kuha kayo ng consolidated uh, position paper ninyo para consider ng uh, kumsek pag-aralan namin also with the PNP uh, para hindi natin ito isa-isahin. Para meron na kayong consolidated na position paper. At uh, tingnan natin. Dahil nga, yung nabanggit nyo kanina, unang-una, yung pinakaunang punto, yung uh, surreptitious na paggamit ng kamera. Hindi lang, hindi lang yun sa bypass operation ng drug, ha? drug bypass operation, kundi lahat ng entrapment operations. Halimbawa, arms dealing. Halimbawa, yung carnapping na uh, Kwan, buying and selling of carnap vehicles, kasama rin yun. And kailangan surreptitious ka doon talaga. Hindi ka pwedeng unsurreptitious doon. So may problema tayo dito. Eh, we will talk to Senator Gordon itong mga uh, particular provisions na ito. Pati yung pagpasok mo, pidiya kami. You are uh, being recorded. Kadami na requirements, ano? Yes, ah, uh, Sir, sandali lang, sir. Sir, sir matagdag ko yung uh, previous discussion kanina with the, with the consent of uh, the good chair of the National Privacy Commission. So, nakikita natin, baka masubject, siguro sinasabi mo, masubject to abuse. Di ba? So, pero nakikita nyo, gabi-gabi, sa ating mga, andito mga media, Channel 7, Channel 2, lahat na ng channels, nakadevote ang isang portion doon sa balita na nahuli lang ng CCTV. Inaninakaw yung bisikleta, dinukutan, nasa lisi, CCTV. So, very common na ito. Gabi-gabi yan ang palabas. So, yung, yung concern ng National Privacy Commission, ito, wala namang nagbigay ba ng consent yung na, nahulihan, na, nahulihan na, na kumukuha ng bisikleta na ipalabas sa buong Pilipinas na siya ay nagnanakaw ng bisikleta. Wala nang ganun yun. Inalabas na lang ni Barangay Captain, halimbawa dito sa Metro Manila, halos lahat, may CCTV na. No offense to the media uh, representatives here, 
isang segment nun, yun lang ang lumalabas sa news. Na wala namang, well, I'm sure merong uh, violations ng batas ng National Privacy Act dahil walang consent yung, uh, victim. yung victim. Pati kinukuha na lang sa barangay kung sino man na may CCTV camera, di ba? So nakikita natin uh, kung ito hinahayaan natin gawin ng iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan, eh bakit sa kapulisan ibabawasan natin yung ganitong karapatan? Eh gabi-gabi, ito na lang yung, halos ito na lang yung news. Nasa gasaan yung pusa, tumawid yung, eh, di ba, yun na yung lumalabas ngayon. Uh, any comment on that? Kasi wala akong nakitang uh, intervention ng national, no, no offense to you, ng National Privacy Commission when it comes to utilizing all of these footages sa national news. Di ba? Uh, Senator Talente, buti na, na banggit niyo po yan. Actually, very soon ho, ilalabas na ho rin namin yung aming guidelines on CCTV for... Yan po, yung binabanggit nga po yan dahil sa dami nga ho rin ng, ng CCTV operators na... Uh, but this early, I will tell you, yung pong coverage ho ng guidelines na yun uh, will, will not cover uh, domestic use, yung sa bahay, no? and law enforcement. No? Kasi we recognize nga po that law enforcement, uh, yan ho isang component o isang tool no? ng, ng, ng law enforcement. Pero yun nga ho, tama nga ho yun, yung media, uh, kaya maganda rin yung pag-uusapan din natin sa PWG dyan. Halimbawa nga, may hihingi ba ng access sa inyo dyan? No? Ano ba ho ang protocols natin uh, ng, ng PNP when it comes to that? Uh, availability to media. Kasi ho, ang isang enshrined din ho sa atin, again, yung DPA ho, yung Data Privacy Act, is really a balancing act between uh, the right to information of the pub, to, uh, by the public and also ho yung, yung privacy rights. No? So yun ho yung lagi natin binabalanse. Kung lumalabas po kasi yun, isa ho kasi sa batas ho natin, yung journalistic uh, intention po is, is exempted ho dun sa, sa law ho natin. Pero um, yan, yan ho ano, no? so as long as it's done for journalistic uh, uh, pang-journalism. Pero kailangan na rin ho bigyan ng ano yan, ano, ng, ng, ng counting guidelines din. No? Halimbawa nga ho, yung pagmask ng no, mga tao na hindi naman kasama sa eksena <laughs> na nakuha doon, gusto mo ipakita yan, sige pakita mo. Pero kung hindi naman kailangan na uh, yung ibang tao kasama sa eksena, eh dapat sigurong mamask ho yun. Hindi ho ba? No? So, dapat meron din ho capabilities sa mga media organizations na gawin po yan. So, maglalabas din ho kami ng ano rin, uh, guidelines kasi gabay lang naman ho din siya for everyone using ho the, the CCTV. But you're mentioning na nga po yan, Senator, Every day, yun ho yung ginagawa natin, how do we balance it between meeting the objectives no? and then attending uh, and addressing the risks. For as long as, sir, yung nade-derive na benefits natin lagi is higher no? than, than, than the risk. And the risk, the risk ko can be mitigated. Pwede ho natin pababaan yung risk ko yan by doing certain interventions from our end, like coming up with protocols, coming up with a privacy impact assessment. So, ganun lang naman po yun. So, kung ang sitwasyon ho, halimbawa, mas mataas ang risko kesa dun sa benefits na makukuha ho natin, any logical ano ho doon, sasabihin, bakit pa natin gagawin? Mas matadong mataas ang risko compared to the benefits. We must just be sure ho doon sa benefits na gusto ho natin makuha from this. De, kasi yung benefits na ho yan, then sasabihin natin, eh may risko ito na ganito, then yan ho lahat ho na may measure ho yun. Then you can say, as a, if you will decide on a certain situation, the benefits would definitely un, uh, outweigh itong risks natin, and risks can be prevented and mitigated. Then we have a higher chance of meeting the objectives, Senator. So always in any situation, um, in, in, in any situation makikita nyo yung NPC, like the national ID, may maximize ho natin doon yung benefits ng ID. Vis-a-vis -vis yung risk na ano nga naman, paano kung, ano, kung, may, kung may mahak yan, lahat tayo. Mag, di ba? Pero kung dun ho tayo hihinto, eh hindi na ho tayo mag national ID. Pero sinasabi natin, oh may risk ko na mahahak yan. Pero malaking beneficyo eh. So yun ho yung ating lagi. So sinasabi ho natin dito, you want to do body cam, malaking benefits nito, saving the lives of law enforcement. Um, coming up with hard evidence so that they, they can really put those, those ano, in, in, yun ho yung i-maximize natin. Ang i-minimize ho natin dyan, yung nalilik itong mga information na ito, napapagamit ho sa hindi, ng, hindi otorizado, yun ho yung pinabababa natin ng risk. 
by coming up with mitigation measures like SLPs, protocols, and the privacy impact assessment. So, dun sa, sir, ano ko lang sa kapulisan po, lagi ho natin inihin yun, yun, yun lang isip, ito ang beneficyo nito, um, then, then, how, the, papa, kung paano natin ma-minimize yung, yung, yung risk, pwede mag, magtulungan ho tayo doon. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. But before I recognize uh, Yusik Florese, itong may nakikita ako na scenario. Bawal, bawal, di ba? Lalabas ito sa batas ito, bawal mag-share ang PNP sa media, whether social media or uh, mainstream media ng footages ng kanilang operation. It has to go to the court pa bago nyo i-release. Kasi in order to preserve the chain of custody of evidence, bawal. Kailangan mo pa ng mag-secure pa ng court order. Halimbawa, meron isang polis na maro-maro. Gawin ng polis. Meron siya dito ang body camera na kalagay. Meron din siyang cellphone. I-own niya yung cellphone dito sa kaliwang dibdib niya. Pasok siya ngayon. Conduct siya ng uh, whatever operations. Kung ano yung nakuha ng body camera, nakukuha rin ng cellphone dito sa kabila. Dahil inun niya yung cellphone niya, eh. nagbibideo siya. After the operation, patay ang uh, suspect. Sumisigaw ngayon ang mga pamilya. EJK, EJK, EJK. Yung baril na yan, nilagay na yan ng polis. Nilagay na yan ng polis. Ang polis ngayon naman, nasisira dahil nakapokus ang media doon sa reklamo ng mga parents ng, ng namatay. Sabi ngayon ng polis, hindi yan legitimate yan. Ito, may ebidensya ko. Ipakita niya sa media ngayon yung recording niya sa cellphone. In order to protect the PNP. In order to protect the police na, na in-accuse ng EJK. Pakita niya yung footages ng cellphone. So, malusutan pa rin ng police yung batas na ito na bawal issuer sa media. Kung ako ang police, ako naipit. So, I have discarded ko ito na depisa ng sarili ko. Ipalabas ko ito sa media. Itong totoo. Galing sa cellphone ko yan. Habang nagkakandak ako ng operasyon. Di ba? So, uh, ano kayo nang na-preserve pa rin yung chain of custody ng evidence na sunod yung batas, pero nakadiscarte pa rin ng polis na dipinsa niya sa sarili niya dahil pinakita niya yung video recording sa cellphone. Please. Mr. Chair, yung, pin yung hung, uh, pinakamatibay ho na uh, nabanggit niyo ho sa statement niyo yung salitang diskarte. Yung po sa Data Privacy Act, biniiwan ho namin yung diskarte ho dun sa mga kailangan ng data na may lehitimong uh, dahilan kung bakit niya kailangan gawin. So yun ho yung diskarte ng polis na ho yung sinasabi sa senaryo na yun. Eh yun ho yung nararapat. Kasi kung yun ho magliligtas sa kanya para sa isang asunto na hindi naman ho nararapat. So yan ho paggamit ho niya no? uh, for legitimate legal claims. Yan ho ay, yan ho ay ko, ano, no? pinapayagan ho yan. At isa ho batayan kung bakit kailangan ho or maaari kayo magproseso ng, ng information. So, um, yung pong ano, so again, yung home relationship with the media, nasa ano po yan? Um, again, yung hong balancing ho ng, ang, ng public interest, kung ang palagay ho ng kapulisan, ito ay kailangan makita ng publiko, ito ay uh, nararapat. At lalo na ho, pag yung kung diskarte na ibibigay ba to o hindi, nasa sa inyo po yan. Kapag ho ito ay involving national security halimbawa, ito po ay napakalaking dahilan na, na maaari mong sabihin na hindi ko maaaring ibigay ito. So, yun po yung gusto namin again, again no, na basagin na na, na paniniwala na nandito na wala na wala na tayong pwedeng hindi ho ano um, nasa ano po natin yan um, again lagi ho sisiguro doon lang ho natin maliwanag yun ho mandanto natin na gawin ito lehitimo mismo yung ating uh, layunin sa pagkuha po nito right at napaka competent ho ng otoridad no meaning siya po ay nagsanay alam ho niya yung uh, kailangan niyang gawin Uh, just one, one question and comment. Nung anong araw po, yung uh, sa mga ibang police operations, may, may representative ang Commission on Human Rights. 
para ma- maayos yung flow. Payag po ba kayo sa pagbalangkas ng batas na ito, hindi lamang sa technical working group, ay eh magkaroon ng isang representative kayo naman, National Privacy Commission, halimbawa doon sa Office of the PNP Spokesman, nandun kayo na may isang representative kayo para, hindi naman i-clear sa inyo, para uh, more or less, alam din ng PNP o nasa sumusunod tayo sa, sa tamang panuntunan, sa tamang protocol. Pwede bang meron kayong isang, uh, hindi naman natin gagawin pulis, pero... Nandun lang, papasyal-pasyal doon once a week. Senator. Diba? Para makonsulta kayo kung sa, tama yung ginagawa. Sa diba? abot po ng aming makakaya. Para hindi magkaroon ng friction later on na kayo yung sasalungat sa pulis. At teka, mali yung ginawa nyo. Di ba? Para Senator, hindi ho magkaroon ng hadlang. Senator, gusto ko lang sabihin, ng PNP po, meron ho kayong DPO. Right? At hindi ko lang hula kung nagbago na si General Binag at yung team ho niya. May team ho ang, 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 ano, ang, uh, ang kapulisan natin ngayon, no? no DPO. At sinasagawa na ho nila ito, yung sinasabi ko ho kanina, no, na may, pa, pride, may impact assessment, no, magkawa kayo ng manual. At yung huhuling plano ng, ng PNP na, na, na share ho din sa amin, uh, eh, may lagay na rin ho sa, manu, sa operations manual no, ng pagkapulis. Ano ho ba yung mga uh, kasama rin, ano, kasama yung ibang elemento ng Cyber Crime Prevention Act at yung Data Privacy Data Privacy Act. So, may DPO office na po ang, ang PNP na maaari. Team, hindi nga, magkanda nga ang ginawa ng PNP, hindi lang isang tao, office siya. So, marami ho kaming from the region, uh, I think from the, or, the organization itself. Na yun po. So, patuloy naman ho natin, kailangan palakasin lang ho yun. Ano, may, mas maintindihan po ng, ng, uh, ng, ng lahat. No? So, um, yun sa tanong nyo, Senator, Again, sa abot ng aming makakaya, bakit po hindi? I-welcome ho namin yon. In fact, may iba hong jurisdictions, for example, like Brazil. Ang ginagawa po nila doon, alimang humihingi po ng, um, ng ito naman ho, dun sa ibang mga sitwasyon na surveillance, na may representative ho yung kapulisan, yung judge, yung, yung hoes na nagyo, at yung privacy authority ho nila, na institutionalized ho nila yan sa Brazil. So, huminto ba ang police operations dahil may privacy officer? Hindi ho. Nasi na sure din lang ho na um yun ho yung ano maganda hong mangyari rin po yun na the same na, na lalakas lumalakas din ho yung kumpiyansa ng ating kapulisan in in executing its its function so maari po yun we welcome ho namin yun willing kayo bibigyan na lang kayo ng bulletproof kasama kayo minsan minsan sa operation siguro <laughs> Siguro, <laughs> sa ato, hindi, hindi ganun yung idea na, <laughs> na pag ano, pero halimbawa nga ako, sa pagbalangkas ho ng ating mga uh, protocols uh, for this, as we refine it, as we strengthen it, andan naman po kami. And then may DPO office ho kayo, may data protection officer ho kayo, at yung may office ho kayo. We continue lang ho training yung mga, yung mga tao po natin. No? So, maganda nga ho dito, Senator, Um, sin- na in-encourage ko nga ho rin yung, yung PNP ho natin. Yung ho law enforcement and privacy, isa ho itong topic ngayon na pinag-uusapan ho talaga sa buong mundo. Kasi nga, dahil nga sa bagong maraming teknolohiya na na pumapasok na maari magamit ng kapulisan, at the same time, dumadami rin ho ang mga jurisdiction na meron ng, na meron ng privacy. In fact, yung ho ating manual na magagawa, malaki ho matutulong pa niyan eh. Worldwide, ano? Yung, yung international standards no ng law enforcement as it observes data governance pwede hong mauna pa tayo diyan no malaki hong uh, ma- ma- malaki hong maari pang i-contribute ng ng PNP natin and i'm always very proud to say ho kahit sa iba na yung pulisyo natin kahit na bago-bago lang ho yung DPO office eh meron ho talagang tumututok yung data protection team o yung office ho ng ng, ng PNP under Uh, General Binag. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, may we recognize uh, Yusik Flamese, sir? Thank you very much, uh, Your Honor. I, I know that the wisdom of the uh, proposed bills are focused more on the uh, law enforcement side, which is just one of the pillars of the uh, criminal justice system. But moving forward, Your Honor, I think it should also touch on other aspects. For example, the prosecution and the, uh, although some of the bills mentioned about some judicial proceedings. For one, uh, I think uh, at the prosecution side, 
it should not become a mandatory on the part of the police or any other law enforcement agencies to be submitting the, the, the uh, footages of, uh, of uh, cameras as part of the sufficient ground in finding information before the, before the prosecution. Because there could be some instances where the police or other law enforcement agencies might not be using the, the, the cameras. So I guess it should not be mandatory in, in the file of information. That's one, uh, Your Honor. Secondly, uh, just on the point raised by uh, the OICPNP, General Archie Gamboa, on the explanatory uh, note. Uh, while it mentioned about mandatory, it, that is mandatory on the part of law enforcement uh, officers, it focused more on the PNP, the PDEA, and the NBI. To make it more generic, uh, Your Honor, I think we should include other law enforcement agencies. For example, the Bureau of Immigration, the Coast Guard, which is basically, uh, basically a law enforcement agency, or even, even OTS, the DOTR, such that parang sinasabi kasi natin na yung PNP lang and PDEA yung parang always subject of uh, uh, yung, yung misconception na nagkakaroon ng abuses during during uh, police operations. So, just on those two uh, points, Your Honor, thank you. Thank you, sir, for that uh, comment. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> yung kinatakutan mo na baka no, magkakaroon ng paradigm shift yung prosecution na hindi na siya magkukonvict ng uh, isang uh, suspect kung walang suporta, walang supporting evidence na galing doon sa body-worn camera. I think, uh, hindi naman siguro, I hope, uh, hindi magyari yan dahil we've been uh, getting convictions without using body camera pa naman, di ba? So, sana hindi magkakaroon ng paradigm shift yung uh, ating uh, prosecution. But anyway, having said that, uh, yung isa pang concern mo, sir, na uh, hindi lang dapat PNP, MBI, PD, uh, uh, in a way, itong uh, batas na ito ay para sa lahat ng law enforcement agencies, law enforcement agents. So, cover na lahat ito. Uh, it just so happened na talagang PNP ang pinaka-subject nitong itong uh, body-worn cameras dahil yun nga sa mga recent developments. So, later on siguro, we will uh, require everyone, lahat na magkakaroon ng body-worn camera kakayanin ng agency. Pero ikukover pa rin ito ng batas. Ito nga kay Senator Gordon na uh, version, may das pa. So lahat ng patrol car, require natin na may das cam. Mark or unmark. Kung hindi ka kaya sa malagyan lahat ng mark, mark muna bago yung unmark. Kasi yung ibang uh, operative sa, sa US, Yung kanila mga unmarked vehicles, meron pa rin, di ba? Meron pa rin silang mga body camera. Depende nga yan sa police department kung kaya nilang mag-procure. So, anymore, may nakita pa kayong provision dito sa bills na ito na yung nakita nyo questionable or uh, kailangan mag-voice uh, out kayo? Ano ba? Yes, yeah. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, may, ano kasi, the, the the proposed bill, Your Honor, also prohibits the interfering interfering with the body camera, meaning bawal ikat, i erase yung footages. Now, uh, law enforcement operation, kasi uh, mostly we do also casing and surveillance, Your Honor. Now, uh, my ang scenario is what if during the casing and surveillance, kasama kasi yun namin usually yung mga assets or mga Alpha, we call them. Call them. Uh, siyempre sa recording kasi, Your Honor, it also involves audio. So, may mga sensitive information na, na nasasabi in the course of the surveillance. Now, what if the team was compromised, something happened, and uh, the suspect 
uh, died. Now, uh, under Section 10, Your Honor, uh, it requires na the relatives can uh, have a copy of the footage. Now, if we give the, f the, 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 the video footage, it also includes all the interactions, the audio recording in the footage. Now, yung ibang intel information dun, marinig din nila, Your Honor, so uh, makompromise ang buong, buong the, the whole operation, Your Honor. Yeah, uh, totoo yung sinasabi mo. So, paano natin ito uh, kung na lang siguro, ibuo ninyo lahat na para isahin natin yan pag uh, that's why we have this hearing para makonsider yung sides ninyo baka to avoid coming up with the uh, onerous law. Ha? Hindi onerous contract, ha? Onerous law, one-sided, very disadvantageous to the law enforcement or uh, to the uh, public. Ganun yun. So, kung prituhin niyo yan, uh, any comment on that uh, particular uh, provision? Dito, marami tayong problema talaga dito sa surreptitious at saka yung alteration. Pero yung alteration on the part of the PNP, hindi na ma-alter yan with the system that they, they are procuring, hindi na ma-alter yan. Pero ang pag-present na lang sa court siguro, sabi mo nga, makita doon yung mga assets ninyo, mga informant, ang dami nga i-consider talaga. Your Honor. Yes, please. In, in some cases, or big cases, uh, we also have this follow-up operation and backtracking investigation and that, that would also be uh, compromised your honor if we would be required to submit at the earliest the copy of the footages taken during the first or the initial operation your honor tama ka ah uh, yun nga pag mag uh, yung legal counsel sabi dito sa bill ni senator gordon at saka kay senator pangilinan yung legal counsel ng suspect uh, makasecure ng court order para kukuha ng kopya niyan. Tapos ngayon, ipipresent na niya na nasa kanya niyan. Ipipresent niya kung saan-saan niyan, makukompromise talaga yung ibang information na contained doon. Paano ba natin yan? Paano natin yan i-balance yung ating uh, yung ating uh, transparency as against uh, confidentiality. Mahirap i-balance ano? Transparency versus confidentiality of information na nagbabanggaan dyan ngayon dito sa bill na ito. Uh, mga lawyer natin, please, share your idea, bright ideas. Uh, Attorney Galicia o Bimbiay. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I think it should be limited to those actual operations. Yung mga video footages lang, sir, yung actual operations should be uh, subject to, uh, should be provided to the public or to the subjects of the video footages. Those cases, uh, those instances when you're just conducting intelligence gathering, it should not be covered by uh, May this provision. So, yung actual operation lang dapat, sir, kung sinasabi nila na nandun yung mga alpha, siguro hindi naman actually uh, during uh, actual operation, nandun pa yung alpha eh. Or during uh, uh, case build-up, uh, yun lang naman yung uh, ating concern nila eh. Uh, in during, during those times when they're conducting uh, surveillance and case build-up, I think it should not be covered by this, by this provision. Ang dapat covered lang nito, sir, is yung uh, actual operation na like the enforcement of search warrant or the bypass operations. Yes, th maybe that can be act that can be addressed doon sa gagawing protocols ng law enforcement unit. Halimbawa, sabihin nila doon na during the conduct of uh, case build-up, 
yung yung uh, lahat lahat ng case bill up kasama na diyan yung uh, yung test by or whatever huwag niyo siyang gamitin yung kwan huwag niyo gamitin yung body camera gumamit kayo ng ibang camera para hindi makompromise yung information natin doon na kay gumamit ang body camera sa actual yung police operation yung halimbawa service of warrant or uh, execution ng search warrant bakit doon niyo gamitin ang body camera niyo dito sa case build up huwag kayo gumamit ang body camera gumamit kayo ng ibang surveillance camera Siguro, yan ang magandang solusyon to that problem para mamintin pa rin yung confidentiality ng information pertaining to assets, informants, o iba pang anisi sa uh, one, confidential information. What do you think? Okay, kumamit ng body-worn camera. Doon na sa actual implementation ng uh, search warrant or actual bypass operation, gamitin yung body camera. Pero pag case build up, huwag nyo gamitin yun. Your Honor, may yeah. portion kasi sa bill na uh, using the dashboard of the vehicle. Dashboard camera of the vehicle. Ang sinayo, Your Honor, is what if during the uh, surveillance, uh, casing operations, may nangyari na compromise yung tropa, tapos may nangyari sa suspect. Now, the relatives can demand the video or oh, the video footages of the dashboard camera, camera, Your Honor. So that is our uh, predicament, Your Honor. Tama. Tama ka dyan. Uh, but anyway, pwede ya, kasama ba sa dashboard camera? Parang police patrol ka rin ata ang lagyan natin dyan ng dashboard camera. Huwag na isama yung sasakyan ninyo. Kuhan yan eh. Puro covert yung mga sasakyan ninyo eh. Meron bang mark vehicle na pwede ya? Mark na pidihan sa akin. Wala mo siguro, di ba? Dito tayo siguro muna sa mga mark vehicle. Magkakaroon ng dashboard camera. Kasi iba, compromise lahat na lakad ninyo dyan. Lahat na lang na recorded doon. Anyway, pakinggan natin si Yore Singuran, Attorney Galicia. Yes, Sir Honor. I, I think that's the very reason why we're having these uh, video, ca video cameras or dashboard cams. It's para like, transparent of what happened during the operation. But if we're going to hide it, so what's the reason why we're coming up with these uh, measures? Yung nga, ang punto nila, baka masunog na yung mga ayaw nila. Ibang information. Na siguro, dapat aware kayo na meron kayong dashboard camera. So, huwag ninyong iplastar doon yung mga mga informant ninyo, mga asset, di ba? So, ganun na lang, para hindi masacrifice yung... Uh, Transparency natin. That's why we are having this transparency doon sa mga pagkakamali, mga abuso na pwede natin gawin. At saka, depinsa sa sarili natin pag tayo yung wrongly accused of any uh, misdemeanors, misde misdeeds. Di ba? So, ganoon na lang. Dapat meron rin kayong uh, prudence not to expose your... Uh, Unnecessarily, your informants, pag mayroong kamera. Para hindi tayo, for, sabihin naman nila, ano ba itong batas na ito? Puro exemption na lang. Puro exempted, exempted, hanggang wala ng transparency. But anyway, uh, hintay ko yung inyong consolidated na position paper. Yes, sir. I mean, um, listening to you, Chair, um, you're exercising what you call proportionality. Eh. Yung proportional, yun, yun lang mo isang prinsipyo ho ng Data Privacy Act, eh, proportionality. Yung sakto lang, yung tama lang. Kasi, again, kapag ho, uh, yung collection ho talaga, magagawa na lang kahit na sino. Yung technology allows that. It's so affordable. So, it's really, now sa atin, through, through again, a, a, an SOP, through a uh, privacy, well, through, through yung plans po natin, to make sure na proportional lang yung application natin ng both technology to derive the most benefit from it. So, again, listening to the um, discussion, uh, Senator, uh, it's it, laging kung ganun yung magiging sitwasyon ho uh, sa mga bagay-bagay. Marami ho talaga yan yung hindi natin, napakaraming permutations eh. 
maraming, maraming pwedeng mangyari. But always, oh, ang natin, we, we just have to make sure, clear sa atin yung benefits nito. And then, proportional lang po yung application na, natin no, na gagawin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ano pa? Meron pa kayong ibang nakita dyan? Sir, I'd like to reiterate uh, the previous statement that I made that if possible, the law will re really define. Uh, let's not lose focus on the main gist of the law, which is the data actually, not even the cameras because the cameras is just the medium. What is important is the data collected out of this medium, a dash cam or a body-worn camera. I'd like to reiterate again that if possible, the law will define when can, when can it be used for purposes of the department, when can it be used for purposes of getting a conviction on an administrative case, and when can it be used using getting a conviction on a criminal case. So I hope the law will define the different usage of the data derived out of the different operations that the law enforcement would do. Yes, uh, having said that, I am requiring you to submit your uh, position paper. Huh? Eh, that should be coming from you. Para i-consider namin dito sa committee in the final, finalizing the, the consolidated version of these four uh, bills. Okay? Pag-submit tayo. Uh, next year. <laughs> next year. Oh, kasi your your cameras will be available for use may pa, sabi mo? Uh, so, pap, dapat before before mag-launch kayo ng inyong full uh, implementation ng uh, body wall camera, na-approve na itong batas na ito para yung inyong magiging uh, uh, policies should be uh, should be in line, aligned with this uh, with the law that will be approved. So, uh, dapat bilisan ninyo yung pagpadala nyo ng yung position paper. Yes, Your Honor, based on the 140 days delivery from the time that the notice to proceed has been issued, that's around April 24 of next year. Pre, ah? April 24 of next April. year. April. Pero alam ko, yung dealer niyan, magpapadala pa yan ng request for extension of delivery because of this and that and that. Sigurado yan. Pero sigur sabihin mo yung dealer na may batas na lalabas. Idadamay ka namin sa batas na ito kung hindi mo ayusin yung delivery mo. Pag ganun. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, please, uh, padala mo kagad sa committee yung inyong position paper para uh, tama yun. Yung gusto mo mangyari. We will hear from uh, Mr. Arsenio Evangelista, BCC. You have something to say? And uh, James Kumar. Okay. Uh, you. Your Honor, uh, thank you for uh, having us. No? Uh, anyway, uh, nagsabit na po kami ng position paper. Uh, one, two, three, four, seven. Seven uh, small uh, bullet uh, points, paragraphs. Nagsabit na po kami. So, na-observe ko nga halos lahat yung mga resource person, yung mga unang diniscuss nila, Practically, nagtatali kami. No? First, we fully support yung mandatory use of body cams and also the dash cams. For, uh, palagay po namin, this is a win-win position for all stakeholders uh, para sa ating lahat, victims and uh, law enforcement. Uh, tama po ang law enforcement, hindi lang po PNP. It should include PDEA, NBI, uh, immigration officers and even uh, coast guards any you know uh, groups that operates for uh, any major crimes so for the sake of transparency ang tingin po namin ng grupo po natin namin dito eh, yung uh, transparency is so important for the success of any um, uh, law uh, batas to address. No? Uh, ito po ang tingin din namin dito. This is a very strong tool to address uh, yung um, uh, conviction no? that will lead to conviction. 
kasi po kami sa kami mga biktima kami ay consistent representing uh, thousands and thousands of victims of heinous crimes so ang gusto po namin dito uh, yung batas uh, ito no uh, it, 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 this will help yung prosecution eh, to uh, prosecution that will lead to conviction with finality because of this uh, 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 recorded uh, ano, no? uh, materials. Kasi ang court ngayon, yung, from the prosecutors, ane, it will start from yung mga materials na isasubmit ng law enforcement that will, that will help yung law enforcement, then yung law enforcement, uh, that will help the prosecutors, that, that will help them convict those ano, no? individuals or group of persons. So kami, natutuwa kami dito, no? we fully support itong mandatory. Now, nababanggit po natin yung, yung cost, yung gastos in uh, procurement of these uh, ano, mga gadgets and everything. Tingin ko wala pong price ito. No? Uh, the uh, national government should sacrifice in getting these tools. To, ito po yung strength natin eh that will lead to prosecution. Well, ito na, um, yung, yung, I understand yung position ng NPC, no? Um, uh, like us, kasi kami misan vocal din kami, no? Ang VACC. We are here not to attack any person. Uh, any pronouncement we say on media, it is not a personal attack on your person, but Uh, it is for us to remind you uh, that transparency is very important because lahat po tayo, majo-judge at the end of the day, especially, kasi tama po kayo, nakapokus lang doon sa war on drugs. Nagsaksit ho ba yung war on drugs at the end of the day? Yun ang malaking question. Pero pag may transparency, uh, doon, mamamagigage po natin kung ano. So, Um, ano, we are um, we are not um, creating animosity. I know yung ano uh, kami rin. Misang kasi yung grupo rin namin na, na ano para kami attack dogs or uh, um, actually kami lang naman. We, we want to save the organization. Uh, yun ang main purpose, ang mission and vision ng VACC. Tapos um, kay attorney. Um, Uh, NBI uh, Galicia. Galicia malaki po utang na loob sa kanya I fully agree with you nung may isang operation kayo nung nahuli yung pumatay sa anak ko yung one one uh, yung last yun eh one man standing no na inoperate nyo with the uh, um, in cooperation ng isang network no Re recorded yon from the day na ano no sino surveillance nyo may recording Uh, unmarked vehicles, and then finally, nakuha namin uh, fully recorded. Ngayon, nakakulong na po ngayon. Uh, yun yun, no? Uh, pero wala pa kayo body cam nun, ano? Panay mga ano. So, anyway, yung, our, our thoughts on this, no? This, ano, issue. Uh, ito po yung ano namin, uh, submitted already for your uh, consideration. Uh, uh, your Honor, kaya, uh, yun lang muna. Salamat, ah, uh... Mr. Ibanglista, our uh, constant partner in quest for uh, justice and truth. Thank you. And uh, crime prevention and uh, crime solution. Maraming salamat sa inyong tulong. Wala kay sweldo, pero <laughs> personal voluntaryo yung trabaho ninyo. Salamat po. Para yung, sa... ano, it's more of passion. Eh. Yung sweldo, ano, Uh, yun nga, eh, we, are, uh, we are willing to go hungry just to see some victims get justice and even uh, willing to take the bullet uh, just to seek justice for yung victims of heinous crime. Uh, na doon lang kami nga eh, lagi. <laughs> thank you, thank you Mr. Banglista. How about the MMD? Any comment from you? Uh, Meron ba, may, magtanong muna kung gumagamit kayo ng body camera ngayon, di ba? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Andiyan ngayon? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, please uh, share with us your uh, experience. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we strongly support this uh, bill, Your Honor, as it uh, 
find it uh, as we find it beneficial to the law enforcers as well as to the public we understand your honor that this 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 bill is intended only for uh, law enforcers authorized to make an arrest or conduct search nowadays your honor our traffic enforcers enforcing traffic laws are uh, have already their body cameras so with the enactment of this bill will it uh, prohibit our traffic enforcers from using their body cameras uh, during the in the in the course or during the traffic apprehension your honor or covered na po kami dito you covered kayo because uh, you have law enforcement uh, functions diba yes your honor you are enforcing enforce traffic laws law. traffic oh. laws your honor so covered kayo dito kasama kayo thank you for your honor hindi kayo bubawalan yes sir kailangan kailangan lalo na yung yung sabi natin transparency Yes, because uh, nag-worry po kasi yung mga traffic enforcers, baka nowadays po kasi, baka mag-violate sila yung Data Privacy Act. Hindi, isasama kayo dito sa, kung ano ito, uh, pati technical working group, kasama kayo para aware kayo sa magiging uh, kalalabasan nito. Thank ah? you po, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney. Well, uh, Bureau of Customs, can you say something? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. The Bureau of Customs uh, welcomes this uh, piece of uh, proposals and uh, as a matter of fact, uh, even be before uh, we were invited to these uh, hearings, no? uh, we are already like, like, like PNP and PIDEA, we are already procuring these body cameras and uh, it's just unfortunate that they haven't been delivered to the Bureau of Customs. <coughs> uh, just uh, earlier, I was listening to the opening statement of the good chairman, and uh, one uh, word that struck me is transparency. You know? it, transparency, okay. Mr. Chairman. Transparency. Transparency, yeah. thank you. Well, uh, it is uh, well established that searches made at the border, uh, I mean searches made by customs, is uh, one of the exceptions to the rule against uh, searches with warrant and uh, it is more it is more with more reason that we at the Bureau of Customs Should avail of these body-worn cameras whenever we conduct these searches at the border so that uh, in the future uh, Any at any time that review of these examinations is required then These recordings will be provided and be made available to the public or whichever requires it and uh, with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, again, we welcome these uh, proposals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any more? Oh, wants to say something? Uh, NBI. <clears throat> uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, I think Section 6 should be revised. Uh, Section 6. Section 6. Yes, Your Honor. Right. Uh, I think once you open your your body cam, you can no longer select whether it's related to um, it, the, the camera does not choose whether this is related to your operations or not. No? So it, it doesn't have a mind uh, to choose. So once you open it, it just Take shots and shots and shots. It continues the rule. So if you make these uh, prohibited actions, once I covered something which is irrelevant, uh, I will be liable for uh, Section 6, or violation of Section 6. Ito. Prohibited uses of wearable body camera. Section 6, you are referring to? Yes, Mr. Uh, Chairman. No law enforcement officer shall use wearable body cameras to record activity that is unrelated to a response to a call for service or a law enforcement investigative encounter between a law enforcement officer and a member of the public. Now your concern is uh, what if Naka-own na yan, tapos may makukover doon na unrelated to 
the response na makukover, hindi naman po pwedeng exclude yun dahil yung uh, camera naka-on naka yan eh, di ba? So, ang ibig sabihin siguro rito is uh, other than halimbawa, pati yung tayo ka lang dyan, may nakita ka ng chicks na dumaan na siksi, inun mo yung camera mo kasi gagandahan ka sa babae, baka yun yung ibig sabihin nito, unrelated to any law enforcement operation. Pero pag sinabi mo na nahagip yung siksi na dumaan habang nagkakandak yung operasyon, hindi, it's a violation ito. Ano mo yung nababayulit mo dyan? Eh? During the course of operation yan, nahagip yan doon. As, yeah. as you said, walang no mind of its own itong camera na maging selective siya. Ito, hindi ito kasama. Ito kasama ito, di ba? Yung sabi mo? Yes, Your Honor. And it's the absurd, though. If I'm just gonna focus dito. Definitely, I have to turn 360s because I have to cover everything yeah. here. So there will be instances when I'm gonna cover unrelated uh, incidents or what's going on in the, in the in a particular operation. So I, I think they should be revised so that... Uh, so anong proposed revision mo dito? Paano natin how will we restate this uh, provision? We will submit. Thank <laughs> you, please submit, ha? Mag-submit ka rin para makorek natin ito. Ah, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Atoke. Any more? Ah, sige, go ahead. Continue. Okay, sige. Yeah. In addition, Your Honor, uh, we noticed that there's no criminal liability for all the violations of these uh, measures. Meron ata sa dulo, sa tingnan mo ayo. Ano ba yung criminal ay yung uh, criminal liability? Meron mga six months, six years, sambayan. Under the under kay Senator Senator kay Senator Gordon kay Senator Gatsalian meron. Ito yung kay Senator Gatsalian ha. Ito ay common natin ito lahat. E, imprisonment of not less than 6 months but not exceeding 6 years or a fine not less than 100,000 but not more than 1 million or both at the discretion of the court. Any use of the recording that is not in accordance with the objective of this act. So, wala pa dito yung tampering. Wala, hindi. Yung tampering ba, meron? Removal from the service. Failure to wear, record, or otherwise interfere with the on-body camera recording and thereafter results in the injury or death of a drug personality or any other person who is not a law enforcement officer. Ito pa. Offender shall be prosecuted under the law for the crime which he has committed and the penalty to be applied shall be the maximum period. period. Abuse in authority and commission of a crime by a law enforcement officer involved in the operation regardless whether the incident has been captured in the on-body camera recording. May, may mga penal provisions itong kay bill ni Senator uh, Wayne Gatsalian. All others, uh, wala, no? Yung tatlo. So, pag-consolidate ito, papasa namin ito. Ikaw, kung anong gusto mong penal provisions, isama mo doon sa position paper mo. Para to make this uh, law effective. I yes, Your Honor. Huh? I think if we're serious on uh, coming up being transparent, I think uh, yeah. we should put a penal provision. Yeah. Please, include that in your uh, position paper. Huh? Thank you, thank you. Sir. Please, yeah. Th thank you, Mr. Chair. Just to, just to add and to remind also the, the body and the, the committee, under the DPA, po, there no uh, uh, criminal, uh, well, Provisions po, no? uh, for criminal acts uh, like an authorized processing, an authorized purpose. Na maari pong mag-call din ho doon. Yung, yung, yung hong precise yung mga sinasite ninyong um, scenario, Senator, no? na an authorized processing or an, even an unauthorized purpose in using the data. No? Uh, it's a very good reminder yung atin pong Chief PNP uh, reminded that it's re this is really about, about the data. And, and its use, no? so really, 
um, on the use of the data, we have already um, uh, uh, pro uh, provisions under the Data Privacy Act for uh, penal provisions for them. And isang nga lang hong uh, dapat na paalala rin sa atin, um, under the D Data Privacy Act po, kapag ho taong gobyerno po no, ang nag-violate po niyan, meron hong mas higher na penalties po doon. Thank you. Uh, rest assured, uh, Chairman uh, Liboro, that uh, we are taking into consideration the provisions of the Data Privacy Act in uh, crafting this law. That's why your uh, participation is very essential in, uh, in that technical working group uh, activities that we will be going to do in the coming days. Any more? Sir, Pedia. Your Honor, on the, in the issue of uh, data privacy, we may consider Section 19 of the Data Privacy Act. We may expand it to include uh, this exempts some uh, the gathering of uh, personal information for purposes of criminal investigation. We may expand it to include uh, operations and prosecution of offenses as well, Your Honor. Section 19 of the Data Privacy Act. Chairman Liboro, are you are you aware limitation of, of the, the non applicability na, 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 non applicability po again yun hong uh, binabanggit nga ho natin dito no yung non applicability ho is always also um, to the minimum extent necessary no for example po uh, generally I'm self telling ho as a legitimate public authority and a mandate Pwede po natin gawin ito. Pero halimbawa ho, sir, na, na ano ho ito, no? Um, there was negligence, no? It was access due to negligent, negligence on the part. Meron hong ano po yun? Meron hong uh, covered po yan. Kasama po yun. Na ari hong, hindi ho po pwedeng uh, uh, blanket exemption ho dun sa paggamit. So, ganyan po yung ano? Yun ho yung, yun ho, uh, yung, yung context ho ng provision na yan. Definitely, binibigyan ho tayo uh, as law enforcement for criminal um, for legal, criminal investigation. And it's a legal criteria po, no? for, for processing it. Okay? So, uh, in that case, that's why sinasabi ho natin, yung, yung ating pong magiging liability po dito would be an authorized purpose. Yung ginamit ho ito ng hindi ho doon sa law enforcement o doon sa criminal investigation. Uh, yun hong access due to negligence, no? malicious disclosure. No? Kinuha ho natin, legitimate ho yung dahilan ho natin, pero ginamit para, para mag, maghimbawa ho, may na-violate o ginamit na, na sa, sa, sa isang uh, sa isa pong civilian. Yun ho yung mga, no? yun ho yung mga papasok. Kasi wala hong question, ginamit ho natin ito, so yung pagkuha ho niyan, lahat ho legitimate. Ang iniiwasan ho natin dito yung mag-fall ho kayo or mag-fall to sino man under an authorized processing, an authorized purpose kasi hindi ho inauthorize ng batas at hindi ho inauthorize ninyo. Pero ginamit ho sa ibang paraan. So yun ho yung pinabantayan po natin. Ano, ano yung <coughs> punto mo, uh, Pilea, at tungkol dito? Exempted? Uh, Your Honor, earlier the good GPNP um, made some proposal about the, adopt, uh, the adoption of a safeguard, sort of safeguard about the, uh, the any probable violation of the data privacy. Okay. In case we gathered information, personal information, during the course of anti-drug operation. Mm. In, in that regard, Your Honor, the, the Data Privacy Act itself provides some exception or exemption under Section 19, the non-applicability provision wherein information gathered um, for purposes of criminal investigation, are somewhat exempt, Your Honor, from the from the data privacy violation, Your Honor. Precisely, di ba? Kasabi dito sa Section 19, so exempted, exempted yung law enforcement operation, law enforcement uh, criminal investigation uh, from the Data Privacy Act. Yeah. Sir, we we yeah. may also include the. The operation itself, because investigation is somewhat different yeah. from mm -hmm. its operation, Your Honor. Yung, yung hong, just to, yes, ano po, sir. tama po yun, um, particular ho dun sa non-applicability po niyan, yung limitation ng rights ho ng, ng data subject, ito yung sinasabi nga ho natin dito, na under that, 
for example, the right to access to the information. Maari po ano, uh, hindi po ikang dahil mas mas mataas ho yung layunin ng criminal investigation. Yan ho ay ano kung baga, eh, hindi ho absolute na yung rights to right to access when it comes to criminal investigation. So, uh, yun ho yung paglilinaw ho dyan, no The exercise of the rights of an individual over the data that was gathered and processed within within that ano po, within that uh, context of criminal investigation. So, yun ho yung uh, uh, patungkol po dito. Again, yun law ho natin, binibigay ho ng, uh, binibigay ho niya ng ng benefit of the doubt, no? O sasabihin natin, wide latitude yung government functions po natin na gawin ho yung dapat nating gawin. Yun ho yung paglilino na gusto ho naming uh, sabihin dito, no? Uh, including limiting the rights of individuals over their data because it's, again, processed under a criminal investigation purpose. So, uh, binibigyan ho ng... ng kahalagahan po yun. Uh, siguro nga, yun nga, sabi ko kayo na, mahaba ito kung isa-isahin natin ito lahat. But anyway, Mayroon pa ba kayo idagdag before ay mayroon pa? Mayroon kita yung provisions dyan na kailangan i-take up natin dito? Questionable ones or whatever? Detrimental to to you or to the public? Para pag-usapan natin? Otherwise, kung wala na, okay na tayo? Ha? Pakisabit na lang yung... Hindi, eh, magtanong lang ako sa inyo. <clears throat> Alimbawa, Ito, yung abogado ng, abogado ng suspect, the counsel of the suspect, nag-request sa korte ng kopya ng porter defense, kopya nitong uh, recordings ng body camera camera. I don't know the court process. Kung hihingi pa ba yung court, ng comment doon sa PDEA or sa PNP na who is the repository of this uh, uh, recordings ng comment o pwede ba niya ibigay yan? Kasi kung maghihi pa ng comment yung judge before rendering his decision, baka makakomment kayo na, Sir, huwag mo nang ibigay yan dahil makompromise yung aming ibang information doon. Baka hingin yung comment ninyo. Ano bang... What do you think? Papakomentin pa ba kayo? O diretso na? Magsabi ang korte. Your Honor, Pidi if ya, the... Bigyan mo na kopya yung abogado ng uh, kalaban nyo. Your Honor, if the video footage is um, presented as evidence as one of the exhibits of the complainant, definitely, Your Honor, the, it is the, every right of the, of the counsel of the accused to secure a copy. But then if it's not presented as evidence, but then the the accused or the counsel knows that one exists, then he may, he or she may ask the court to issue a subpoena uh, requesting for a copy, Your Honor. Thank you. So, our next scheduled hearing will include the OJ. Wala tayong DOJ yan dito, no? Uh, CHR as additional resource persons para mas maraming inputs tayong makukuha. So, for now, I would like to thank you for all your inputs. It'll be 30 na. Makaiwas ako ng lunch sa inyo kung i-dismiss ko kayo ng earlier. Meron pa tayong prepared lunch? Ah, meron pala. Hindi ako, hindi, hindi ako excuse mo. Meron pala. Kung uh, gusto nyo, kumain muna bago kayo umuwi. And uh, I would like to thank you for your inputs. I hope pa uh, andito kayo sa next hearing. Uh, siguro, yung next hearing, last na yun, para matapos na natin ito. And for now, uh, I'd like to thank you and uh, hearing is suspended.